Praise the Lord, everyone. Greetings tonight in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is such an honor and a privilege to be able to come into your homes, your automobiles, or wherever you are, amen, listening, amen, by way of social media tonight. Certainly, amen, God is a gracious God, a merciful God, a God that loves us dearly. Praise the Lord, who gave his life for us that we could live eternally uh, in Christ Jesus. We're grateful tonight. We thank God. Amen. I'm Pastor Ken from the Greater Refuge Temple here in the city of Jacksonville, Florida, where I pastor with my father, the Apostle Dr. Jim Groover Sr. Amen. And he also pastors, amen, our sister church in Lakeland, Florida, the Greater uh, Refuge Temple Church of our Lord Jesus Christ, where the assistant pastor there is the Shigella Jeff Davis. So we're grateful tonight to be able to come into your homes, amen, across the world, amen, across the pond, amen, in uh, our wonderful nation tonight, amen, wherever you may be listening, amen, we are grateful to God, amen, we are grateful to God. I don't care what's going on, amen, we have a Savior who loves us, and we are grateful to God for all of his wonderful blessings toward us. Would you join me in a word of prayer? Father, we thank you tonight for being the almighty God, the all true God, amen, a God who makes no mistakes, amen, but you are a perfect God, amen, who died for us, amen, died that we could be free, that we could love you, oh God, the way you have commanded us to do. We pray your blessings tonight, oh God, as we look into your word, we pray you are blessed, you will touch lives, and men will come out of darkness into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ. Lord, you will change hearts, you will change minds. Amen. And men that don't know you may come to know you better. In Christ's name we pray to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Certainly, amen. Tonight we thank God for all of his wonderful blessings. Amen. We say to the Great Refuge Temple family, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your support. Amen. We thank you for all you do for the kingdom. Amen. We thank God tonight. God is a gracious God. And we want you to share. Don't forget to share. Amen. With at least three people this week as a means of evangelizing. Amen. Call someone and tell them that Jesus is still saving. The Lord is still making a way. Amen. If someone, amen, as you're listening to this telecast, we ask you to push that share button, amen, and let others know that the Great Refuge Temple is on the air. Praise the Lord, and God is working miracles for his people. Certainly, we do thank God tonight, amen, for this opportunity to say something uh, from the word of God. I want to talk about tonight, as we continue with the theme, the vision of the kingdom, I want to use a subtopic tonight, knowing the times, knowing the times. Praise the Lord. And in the book of Romans, chapter 13, verses 11 through 12, and it reads, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. For the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Knowing the times, the Apostle Paul, amen, was talking, amen, to, amen, those believers, amen, who had come to know the Lord. He wanted them to know, praise the Lord, that it is high time, high time to wake out of a sleep. Amen. This is crucial times in which we live. Praise the Lord. The devil is on a rampage and there's so much evil. There's so much confusion. There's so much, praise the Lord, disturbance and turmoil. Praise the Lord. But the Lord is our peace, the Lord is our way maker. He said, I want you to look spiritually. I want you to awake out of sleep. 
There's no time to be sleeping. There's no time to be caught off God. This is critical times. Critical in our world. Amen. Critical. Amen. With all the trouble. Praise the Lord. All of the racism in the world. Praise the Lord. But don't worry about this world. Praise the Lord. Somebody once said that this world is not my home. I'm just a stranger passing through. Praise the Lord. And every child of God, we have not, amen, homesteaded here on earth, but our home is in glory. Praise the Lord. And we're on our way to see the King. We're just passing through here. Paul said it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Every day is bringing us closer to the end. Every day is bringing us closer to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every day, Paul says, is bringing us closer. Now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Praise the Lord. God has purpose for us. Amen. To understand as we believe and trust God. Praise the Lord that we will stay awake. We will stay alert to the fact. Praise the Lord that we can't be caught up in the affairs of this life. Praise the Lord because this life only leads to destruction and to death. But the life that the Lord gives. Praise the Lord. It's a day of light. It's a day of blessings. He said the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Praise the Lord. Night meaning trouble, meaning times of evil, the presence of evil is everywhere. Praise the Lord. Our children are not safe. Praise the Lord. We are not safe. The only safety that a man has is in the hands of God. Amen. Our life belongs to Jesus Christ. And we trust him to take care of us. Praise the Lord. He said, I want you to cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Cast off the works of darkness. The thing that calls us to error from the truth of God, from the word of God. Praise the Lord. We're living in evil times. We're living in the last days. And the Bible says perilous times shall come. Praise the Lord. Men will be lovers of pleasure of their own selves more than lovers of God. We're in that time. We got to know and understand the times. Praise the Lord. We don't have a whole lot of time. Praise the Lord. Before the Lord coming, amen, amen, is, is near. He said, but let's put on the armor of light. What is the armor of light? It's the righteousness of God. We put on, amen, the righteousness of God. Our apostle Henry Ross used to always say, just, just do what's right. Praise the Lord. If you could just do what was right, praise the Lord, the Lord would bless us. And I believe that today, praise the Lord, in these critical times, when there's spiritual complacency and people, praise the Lord, are going about their business, amen, without any, amen, consideration, amen, for the work and the move of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But this is the time. We've got to trust God. We've got to wake up from the dead. Rise up so Christ can give us light. Praise the Lord. He can help us. And we can walk in the daytime, in the light time, praise the Lord, in the light of the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 13, praise the Lord, is reminding us of the fact that it was through salvation, amen, that we first believed. It was through Christ's, amen, coming into our lives that shined in us and gave us hope, gave us peace, gave us the ability to know, praise the Lord, that this God that I have, he loves me so much, so dearly, that he's not going to leave me 
in this old evil world. Praise the Lord, but God's coming back for his church. Praise the Lord, he's coming back for his church. He said the night is far spent, it's almost gone. Praise the Lord, we're living in a critical time. She said the day of the Lord's return is close. Praise the Lord, it's almost here. Praise the Lord, so let us, amen, get rid of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. Let's put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Let's put on the things that make, amen, for righteousness and holiness. For he says, coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, or any such thing. But he's coming back for a people who have given their lives, amen, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, what a gracious God we serve. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 14 through 17, of the book of Ephesians, he says, Wherefore, he says, Awake thou that sleepeth, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Arise from the dead. Arise from the dead. Put off all of the deeds of darkness. Pray, Lord, come alive to Jesus Christ. There's nothing that's alive in our flesh. Pray, Lord, our fleshly desires, they're dead stuff. But he said, I want you to come alive to the Lord Jesus Christ, to the light of our Lord. Arise, and Christ will give thee light. God will give you an understanding. God will give you peace. He'll show you, praise the Lord, that he can take care of you no matter what and what you're going through. Praise the Lord. He says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. It's time now to awake to the will of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, don't be unwise. Don't be a fool. Amen. Don't walk like fools, but walk circumspectly. Praise the Lord. Give God, praise the Lord, what belongs to him. Praise the Lord. Give God what belongs to him. We said on last week, the Lord said, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You don't belong to yourself. You belong to God. Praise the Lord. Somebody used to sing the song years ago, my body belonged to God. My whole body belonged to God. My mind, my hands, my feet belong to God. You can't even go and walk where you want to walk. Praise the Lord. You got to go, amen, by the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything, but you have to be governed, amen, by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. See that you walk circumspectly. You walk careful. And living with all and purpose and courage, shunning those things and and those who would, amen, enable evil. Praise the Lord. Those who, amen, their whole design is evil. He said, I want you to shun that. Don't, 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 don't be a part of everything that's going on. But the thing that's righteous, praise the Lord. He said, making, amen, intelligent decisions. Amen. Being, amen, insensitive, amen, to the things that are evil. Praise God, not letting yourself become involved in things that you know that God is not happy with, that God will not be glorified with. Praise the Lord. But we, we, God has given us a mind, a consciousness of God. Amen. That we can feel the move and the tug of God. And we can say to the devil and to those, praise the Lord, who seek Amen. Evil and to take advantage, praise the Lord, of those who are trying to live holy. He said, I want you to take every opportunity, praise the Lord, with wisdom, 
praise the Lord, and diligence, because the days are filled with evil. Praise the Lord. And I want you to know, praise the Lord, that God got your back. God is watching you. Praise the Lord. He said, I want you not to be like the foolish ones. Praise the Lord. But I want you to make sure that you awake to the will and the purpose of God. When you are awake, praise the Lord, it's hard for somebody to sneak up on you. But if you sleep, praise the Lord, when you're asleep, you don't know what's happening around you. Folks say, well, I'll sleep with one eye open. Praise the Lord, you can't sleep with one eye open. Praise the Lord, somebody going to sneak up on you because you lose consciousness of whatever is around you. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the Lord. So I don't want you to be, amen, foolish. Praise the Lord. I want you to have, praise the Lord, your eyes awake, your body awake, your mind awake. Praise the Lord, because the devil is as a roaring lion. He's seeking whom he may devour. Praise the Lord. The devil is not our friend. Praise the Lord. He is our enemy. Praise the Lord. But thank God tonight, the Lord fights for us. He said, don't, don't sleep like others. Don't, don't, don't be careful. Praise the Lord that you don't allow yourself, praise the Lord, to become careless. And you lose, praise the Lord, the ability, amen, to see. And your, and your mind becomes foggy. God said, I want you to keep a clear mind, a clear heart toward the things that are righteousness. Don't let, amen, sins fog up your mind. Praise the Lord that you don't have a good sense of what, amen, you ought to be doing in these times. Praise the Lord. He said, knowing the time, knowing the times. Praise the Lord. It's important for us to know the time that we're living in, that this is a very, amen, uh, vertical time, amen, where, where, where men are doing whatever they want to do. Praise the Lord. And, and think God's going to sanction anything we do. God will not sanction the things that are not right. Praise the Lord. But if, you, if it's right, God will stand with you. Praise the Lord. He will sanction. He will fight for you. In Ephesians 5, praise the Lord. In that last part, he says, Wherefore be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. God, give us a vision of the kingdom. Help us to see and understand what your will is. Lord, what is your will? Not my will, but let your will be done. If God's will be done, praise the Lord. God can move any mountain that stands in our way, any opposition that come against us to tear us down. God can lift us up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God can bring men and women who have Amen. No doubt fallen from grace. If you turn to him, he said, I will turn to you. Praise the Lord. We're not all, praise the Lord, uh, um, all right all the time. Praise the Lord. We make mistakes. Praise the Lord. We come short sometimes. But the heart's got to be right. Praise the Lord. The heart is right. God will bless you. Praise the Lord, and bring you back into focus, amen, with his divine word. He says now he wants us to discern the times. First Thessalonians 5 and 5 to 10, as we look at these five verses, he says, You are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night. Nor of darkness. Praise the Lord. We are the children of light. We have been blessed, amen, to have received the light of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. We have received, praise the Lord, the power of the Almighty God. And 
Paul says here, you are the children of light. When the light is in you, praise the Lord, you become the sons and daughters of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're children of the day and not of the night. Praise the Lord, nor of darkness, amen, nor of the evil, not the wrongdoing. We're not part of that, but we are of the day. Amen, hallelujah. And we can proclaim, amen, the glory of God, the blessings of God. God will bless you in spite of whatever, hey, the Lord, anybody's trying to do against you. For he said that no weapon that's formed against you shall be able to prosper. God will, amen, take care of your enemy. Praise the Lord. He tells us plainly. Praise the Lord, that we are not to be re re revengeful. Praise the Lord, to, to revenge ourselves, for God will revenge his people. Praise the Lord. He says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Let us watch and be so. No time to be drunk with the world. No time, praise the Lord, to, amen, to become intoxicated with the things around us. Praise the Lord. With the evil around us, God has called us with the holy calling. He's put something down on the inside of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You just can't do anything. So he says, don't let us sleep as others do. Amen. To become intoxicated. But let us watch and be sober for they that sleep, sleep in the night. They that are drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are all the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Thank you, Jesus. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Praise the Lord. I don't belong, amen, in darkness. I don't belong to the devil, to the evil. I belong to God. I belong to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And he commanded me, praise the Lord, to have some self-control. Praise the Lord, to be calm, to be wise. Amen. For those who sleep in the night, Praise the Lord that those who sleep, praise the Lord, in the night or get drunk in the night, it happens in the darkness. The Lord is saying, where I am, in the, amen, there's light. And I don't care how dark a situation is, but when the light of Jesus Christ, amen, comes into the room, now how dark the room, but when the light comes, darkness flees. Amen. Darkness has to leave. So the Lord said, I know, I understand, praise the Lord, that, 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 amen, there's some who are sleeping. There's some who are, amen, drunken. But I don't want you to be part of that group, praise the Lord, that are drunk in the night. But I want you, amen, to, amen, put on soberness. Put on the breastplate of faith and love. Oh, thank you, Jesus. For in helmet, the hope of salvation. Lord said, I got some armor for you. I got something to protect you. Praise the Lord. How I got something, praise the Lord, to put on your breastplate. Faith and love. Praise the Lord that you can love your enemy. You can love those who are trying to destroy you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We don't have to go around, amen, trying to bring nobody down. Praise the Lord. Trying to accuse anybody. Praise the Lord. God is our judge. God is the one, amen, who's going to make a way for us. He said, for God has not appointed us unto wrath, but he has appointed us unto salvation. Praise the Lord. God didn't save you. Amen. For you to be destroyed. 
amen, for you to go through hell. He, goes, he didn't save you to be lost, he goes, but he saved us. We might obtain salvation through the blood of Jesus Christ. God saved you. Praise the Lord. He could take us out of here. He goes, we wouldn't fall to the enemy, to the prey. Praise the Lord. And what's going on and to Satan. But God saved you so that he could take you out of this. Praise the Lord. When we can know the times. We're living in these last days. These perilous times. When men are lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. But God help us, praise the Lord, to see ourselves. Praise the Lord, to wake up. Praise the Lord, to be a fully alert. Praise the Lord, so we can see what's going on around us. And we can say to God, keep me. Lord, keep me saved. Keep my mind. Keep my body. Praise the Lord. Don't let me stray from you, but keep me. Praise the Lord in perfect peace. And the Bible says he will do it for those whose minds is stayed on the Lord. When we learn how to pray, when we learn how to seek the mind of God and the will of God, God will make a way for us to make it all the way through. Amen. I heard the chief say once, your name is already written down in the Lamb's book of life. Praise the Lord. Satan, know your name is there. Praise the Lord. He's trying to, amen, find a way to take your name out of the Lamb Book of Life. But I encourage you tonight to know the times, to know what we're living in. Praise the Lord. These last and perilous days. And we'll keep our eyes open. Praise the Lord. We'll find ourselves seeking the vision of the kingdom of God. Lord, I want to know you better. I want to serve you better. I want to give you what really belongs to you. Because I know what your will is for my life. God bless you tonight. May you have been blessed. Amen. As we look into the word today to understand, praise the Lord, we're in the last days. We're in the last days. And the Lord is soon to come. And God doesn't Amen. He's not somewhere sleeping. He's somewhere that's not involved in what's going on now. God knows everything. Praise the Lord. God is a gracious God. Amen. But he'll give us power to endure. Praise the Lord. Whatever we're going through. Saints, remember, we got to know what time it is. And it's time to awake and, and, and realize our salvation is nearer. And when we first believe, Father, we thank you tonight for your divine word. We thank you for this time to say something about your goodness, about your mercy. I pray, Lord, as we look at the times, we'll realize and know, Lord, that you are, our time is nearer than when we first believe. And you're soon to come. And you saved us and we could have joy and eternal salvation with you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you until next time. Praise the Lord. May you ever look up and be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.